everyone! So I'm working on a pretty cool project for my wedding party. I decided to announce it formally with a super cute little box. Um, I'm gonna put some stuff in here. I'm gonna put a bracelet that I'm gonna make myself with wire and I'm going to put um, a couple jars, mini jars of honey and I'm gonna print out a really nice little note to put up here to formally announce to my wedding party that they're my wedding party. Um, so I figured I would make this video because this is going to be a total DIY project and I think it'd be pretty cool to share my results and how I do this in case anybody else wants to take on the challenge of working on a DIY. So I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday and I bought these boxes. They were each $1.99 so they're super cute and inexpensive and what I'm working on now is actually a um, a wood stain that I found online thanks to this guy let me look up his name so I can give him some credit um, on gadgets and grain so thank you gadgetsandgrain.com for helping me with this project. I'm going to try your wood stain technique and see if it works. Um, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm just removing the stickers from the boxes because obviously I want to paint the entire thing. Or well, not paint, but stain, I guess. And um, the first thing we have to do, uh, according to the recipe that I found on this website, uh, we have to first stain the wood with black tea and I'm following pretty much exactly what it said in the video which was to take uh, 10 bags of black tea and boil some water, uh, two cups of water and um, just take the tea and kind of stain the boxes with the tea. So I'm going to go ahead and try that now, right after I'm done removing these stickers from the boxes. I got all of them. Yep. So um, I've already boiled the water and put the tea in it. And this is my little concoction of black tea in two cups of water. So I'm just going to make sure that they're all mixed in there and I'm going to take one of my little sponges that I also got at Hobby Lobby yesterday my little foam brush as it's officially called and I'm just going to as as he mentioned on the website, I'm just going to go ahead and go through the entire box inside and out because um, I want to make sure that I stain the entire, the entire box. So since I'm actually going to put a, a note on the inside, I don't have to super worry about the the inside cover, um, so I can save some some of this mixture, and not use all of it. So as it mentioned on the website, I think the more you the more tea you use on it, the darker it'll come out. I'm pretty sure. Um, and again, this is just the first part of the wood staining, homemade DIY wood staining process. There's still another concoction that we have to use. And that is a mixture of steel wool and distilled white vinegar. And honestly, I had never heard of steel wool before in my life. But yesterday, I asked for it at Hobby Lobby. And they had it. So it was perfect. And what it is, it's pretty much just like a little steel, um, it's a roll of really, really fine steel. 
and a lot of times people use it like for cleaning like like as a sponge to clean like their kitchen wear and stuff but um if you mix it with vinegar it makes a reaction i mean it, i guess it pretty much like dissolves the steel so you get a really cool uh, wood stain solution out of it so i'm pretty much done with the first with the first uh box and i'm gonna leave these out to dry probably for like an entire day because um the steel wool and vinegar solution needs a couple days to actually um, chemically mix and make a really cool um, stain. So I'm just going to wait for these to dry an entire day and I'll probably just work on these and with the steel wool tomorrow. And so this is what the wood looks like with the tea already um, on it. It's As you can see, it's already a little bit darker than than the original wood. So let's see how these come out. I'm just gonna work on the rest of these and I'll let you know. All right, so I've just finished um, with the first step of the wood stain with the tea, with the black tea. And um, this is what the first box I worked on looks like. It's already almost dry. I mean, it's still a little bit damp, but it's a lot drier than when I started um, and this is what the rest of them look like so um, this is the last one I, I just did so you can see that it's a lot deeper when you're the color is a lot deeper when you're first uh, working on it it lightens up a little bit after it dries but um, again this is only just the first step we still have to work on the on the steel wool so actually I wanted to mention that I have um, a lot of black tea left over as you can tell and I have six little boxes so um, you'll probably have enough with this to work on a bigger project if you have either a bigger box or if you're trying to stain a, a larger piece of wood this gives a lot of, um, of stain for for the wood so I'm probably just gonna have to throw this out because I think I'm done with it well it smells delicious this is the first coat uh, I'll let you know tomorrow how it turns out when I'm done with it. So, there you go.